Hey guys, it's Ala. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome, 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 and hello. For those of you who have seen my channel before, thank you for watching and hello. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about life as a CNA and a nursing student or being in a nursing program. So I am a CNA. I've been a CNA for four years now, um, both in Hawaii and in my current state. And uh, if you see me looking down, that's because I have written down a couple of things so that way I don't forget. So as a CNA, I've been working in a home health and currently I am working as a CNA for a nursing home. I'm also a nursing student. So I, like I've mentioned before in my other videos, I'm in a nursing program, which is four semesters long. I've already completed my first semester this past uh, spring and I will start my second semester in fall, which will be August. Um, but yeah, my program is four semesters long <clears throat> and it is a BSN program. And I also wanted to, since I'm on break, I'm, I don't have any classes during the summer. I wanted to keep up with my clinical. So therefore I got in a job with an agency working as a CNA. So if you don't know what a CNA is, it is a certified nursing assistant um, license or certification. And what you need to do to get become a CNA is you have to go and take clinical um, a class and it usually can range between six to eight weeks. After you complete with those, then you take a testing. So it's a proctored exam and it consists of two different things. It's a written test that you have to pass. And then there is a scenario base that they give you. So you don't know what they're gonna be testing you on. You just go in, meet with your um, instructor and they will just tell you, okay, you need to do a bed bath and you need to make sure that you have everything lined up from start to finish. And then they'll say, okay, your second scenario is um, changing their position. Um, so you would have to do that. So anyways, um, you would have to take that before becoming a certified nursing assistant. And with your certification, they're usually good, I believe for two years. Mine's I had to renew every two years. So if you're wondering what a CNA does, so I'm just gonna go based off of what I do as a CNA, or what I have done in both settings. And then I'm gonna start off with a home health. So home health, um, you usually have to drive to your client's house. You have the care plan in a binder. You can do anything from cleaning up their area, like tidying up, you'll do feeding, you'll do your basic um, vital signs, Sometimes it depends on um, your client alone, if they need to be transferred from their bed to a wheelchair or wheelchair to a bed, or they have to do some type of act daily activities um, that they want to go to the store, you may have to drive them. So it all, everything um, can differ from one CNA to another. Now for nursing home, I've been doing nursing home just recently. This is my third day. And uh, my agency sends me out to a specific nursing facility and I get my orders, I get my assignments, I get my, um, my roundings, then depending on what is needed, um, I'll go and go see my patients. So it could be from a bed bath or a full bath. Definitely you have to take vital signs. So your temperature, your blood pressure, your pulse, your um, O2, saturation, um, respiration, you'll document your, how many uh, intake, fluid intake a patient has take, eaten uh, or drank, sorry, how, how many they have drank within your shift per meal, um, how much food did they eat, was it 25%, was it 50, was it 100%, um, incontinence, did you have to change their briefs? We don't call them diapers because that is very insulting for the clients. 
So they're adult briefs that they wear. Um, so if you change that, um, what else? Turning them, if they're bed bound, you would have to reposition and turn them every two hours. So that way they don't develop any decubitus ulcers, um, which is also just a, a sore. Sores on their um, coccyx or their butt area, um, elevating their feet. So that way there's no pressure on their heels. So there's a numerous bunch of lists that you can do as a CNA. Well, in my opinion, if you have a chance to become a CNA or anything in relationship to being doing some type of clinical, MA, CMA, um, CNA, uh, I would definitely suggest you do that, uh, especially for me because I am a nursing student um, on break. Everything that you do in a clinic or at a nursing home is pretty much what you're practicing of doing as a nurse. So I highly suggest just to get extra points so that way you're working with your patients or your clients. Um, you get that one-on-one -on -one more than just your clinical being a nurse or a student nurse. So I, I would suggest just in my opinion, um, I think it's really, really valuable to become some type of CNA or medical professional. I just want to make it clear that I am um, on my second semester of my nursing program. I am, this is a summer, so I am currently not going to school. I don't have to take any additional classes. I'm not scheduled for nursing classes during the summer. I'm strictly doing CNA work. Um, I know there's people that I've worked with or went to school with my colleagues. They do both work and go, going to school. Now, if that's what you wanna do, by all means, all the power to you. But I know for me, I really wanted to make sure that I concentrated on my school work because I wanna go into uh, my, a master's program or a graduate program after I receive my BSN. I need to have really good grades to get into that. So <clears throat> I will shoot another video based off of my first semester and, and what I got and all that uh, at, on a later video. But I just want to let you folks know, currently I am not going to school. Um, I'm only working as a CNA. If you folks have any questions for me in regards to more information of being a CNA, if you're thinking about being a CNA or if you're wondering what can you anticipate going into the field, um, definitely let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, turn on that notification bell so you'll always get notified when I upload a new video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and definitely comment down below. Whether it's good, bad, ugly, give me your opinions. I am an open book and I'm happy to answer any questions. So until next time, thanks for watching guys. See you later.